In the last lecture, I highlighted why we want to set up a project which gives us some additional features which make our life as a developer easier. Now, as I also mentioned, there is a tool which creates such a project for us. It's called Create React App and you can simply Google for it to find a link to its official GitHub repository. As I said, it's maintained by basically Facebook or a community around Facebook. So it's the officially recommended tool for creating React projects. On that GitHub page, you will find installation instructions and a detailed explanation about what it does and how it works. Feel free to read through that, but of course you're also going to learn all about that throughout this course. So let's start with the installation. We install it globally with NPM and NPM is simply Node's Package Manager, a tool you automatically get when installing Node.js, which makes it easy to manage third-party packages, other JavaScript packages in the end, and create React App is just such a package. To use NPM, you need to install Node.js, which you can download and install from nodejs.org. Now, there you should pick the latest version, 8.5 in my case here, but if you're facing any issues with that, also try out version 6.11 or whatever the long-term support version is in your case when you're viewing this page. Now, no worries. We're not going to write any Node.js code here. You don't need to know Node.js. We only need it to use its package manager and also for this development server, which will be spun up for us automatically. So simply click these buttons, download Node.js and it will spin up an uh, installer through which you can walk. Once you did finish the installation, you should be able to run the npm command here on your machine. So let's do this together in the next step. Now to use the create react app tool, you simply open up a terminal or a command prompt on your machine. And then there you run npm install and that's what you need Node.js for. It gives you that npm tool npm install create-react-app and then important add dash g after this to install it globally on your machine so that you can use this command from anywhere on your machine. Now on Windows you can simply hit enter, on Mac and Linux you might need to add sudo in front of this if you hit enter and get a permission error to get the right permissions. Now after you did hit enter your probably prompted to enter your password and you might want to enter it correctly the first time unlike I did. But after all of that create react app should be installed. Now you can use that command to create a new project and you do so by running create react app and then the name of your project and of the folder into which it will be installed. Now important before you run this command, navigate into the path on your system where you want to create that new folder. So here I'm on the desktop, but with the help of CD, you can of course navigate into a different path to store your project there. Then run create react app and then the name of your project, which could be my app or react dash complete guide, for example, because that is what this course is about. Now one important note, to get the exact same folder structure as I have it, since this changes over time a bit and uh, to follow along perfectly, you have to add something to this command. So don't hit enter yet, instead add a white space, a blank, and then add dash dash scripts version. So this is all one and the same command, even though it's split in two lines here on my machine, but it's one command. So dash dash scripts dash version and then a white space and then 1.1.5. Now this does not impact the version of React you're using. You are using the latest version of React, no worries. This simply impacts the structure of the project. We will change that structure throughout the course anyways, but to start with the same, well, starting point, use this command. Simply hit enter thereafter and a new project will be created for you. So this will now create a new folder and set everything up for you there. You can ignore all the warnings you might be getting here. Everything will be fine, no worries. So let's wait for this command to finish now. And once this is finished, you see a bunch of commands you can run. Now here you see yarn start, yarn build. That is because I have installed yarn, which is an alternative to npm on my machine too. Um, you will also be able to run these commands with npm run start, npm run build and so on. So first of all though, you have to navigate into the newly created folder. So with cd react-complete-guide if you named the project, 
uh, like I did here. And then in there you can run npm start to start your project. And what this means is it starts a development server which opens a new tab in the browser, or at least it should open that tab. In case it doesn't, you can manually open a browser tab and visit localhost colon 3000 there. And this is a first project, first demo app that, uh, well, is created for you, which we can now edit. This process here, the npm start process, should be kept on running. Don't quit it. You can always quit it by hitting control and C. But if you quit it, it will stop watching your files. And as long as it keeps running, on the other hand, it is watching your files. And what does this mean? It means that whenever you change something in code, this page will automatically reload and reflect the latest changes, which is awesome. So as soon as you're done developing, you can quit this. As long as you are developing, keep this process running. Now, with that process running again and that application running here on localhost 3000, let's have a look at the folder that was created and all the files we find in there in the next lecture.